masked. It's dark, so dark you can't see a thing. All around you is an overwhelming blackness, thick and oppressive. Everything is silent to begin with. Then a small sound, like a sound of a machine starting up, just softly. Suddenly, you hear her voice. My, my. Hello, darling. Do you remember me? It's been a while, that's for sure. Oh, it's too dark in here. Let me see that silly face of yours. There. Much better. Let me see. Ah, yes. Just as I recall. So beautiful. Your face is the one I see in my dreams. Do you see mine in yours? No, no. Who am I kidding? Of course, you don't. That's okay. There's no pressure. I suppose you'll want to escape this place you found yourself in, though, right? You always were so smart, my dear. So, so smart. You inspired me. I'll be watching. With that, the screen goes dead. The masked woman is gone. And as far as you're concerned, you're on your own. The screen is now perfectly black. Whoever the woman behind the mask was, she's gone. For now. You press the power button, but nothing happens. Frantically, you start hammering everything that could possibly be a button or switch. But still nothing. The screen stays dead. The door on one side of the room looks sturdy, almost as if it hasn't been opened for years. You try to handle it as you expected, it is firmly locked. Behind the planks of wood you spot something metallic. From first inspection it seems to be some sort of tool or perhaps a key. You take a closer look behind the planks of wood and find some sort of key. Though it's not clear what use it has, you take it anyway. A single fluorescent light on the ceiling illuminates the room. It permeates the darkness so intensely that you feel like it will blind you if you look at it directly. Some metal bars protect the recess in the wall. Let's see, you try a couple of the sturdy looking bars. Sure enough, they're sturdily attached. Ah, there's nothing more here. What's this? The contraption embedded under the wall features a wide hole. Where does it lead? Nervously you reach your hand into the hole and feel around. You're relieved to find nothing there. Nothing happens. It looks like there's a coin on the water. You reach into the shallow puddle and take a pound coin. There's a lid on the box which is damaged in one corner. Okay. Maybe we can do something about this. You attempt to open the lid of the box with your hands, but to no avail. Looking at the desk drawer, you spot a small keyhole. Okay, we got nothing. Like a keyhole. Let's see, can we put this coin there? You push the coin into the slot, you hear it clang into whatever has been needed, but then nothing. 
The coin is lost, but it doesn't seem to have done anything. Well, nothing. There's again a puddle on the floor. It's not clear where the water came from. As you look down at it, you realize something strange. You can't see a reflection in the liquid? Okay. You splash your hand into the water. It's oddly warm. The walls appear old, worn, even cracked in places. Was it this room? How long has it been here? You spy a crate on the floor, maybe there's something useful beneath it. Beneath it. You try to pass it open, but to no avail, it needs a key. Use that key here. You turn the key in the hole and lift the drain cover from the hole beneath it. Okay. You don't fancy climbing down there and anyhow the hole is far too small for your figure. There's a hole in the floor which seems to be quite deep. It's hard to tell in this light. Come and pry it open. You grab the loose rail firmly and pull with all your might. After a few seconds, the final thin piece of metal holding the bar in place comes loose. And the bar itself snaps off. You keep it. Yeah. What's there now? Is there something? One of the bars is easily cracked and appears to be loose. Got the key. So let's see. Yeah. You slide the key into the keyhole and slowly turn. The drawer opens. You slide open the drawer and come face to face with a mess that's scratched into the wood. It seems familiar somehow. You wonder just briefly. If it's something you said yourself once, suddenly you hear the screen come to life once more. Clever boy, aren't you doing well? Hey listen, do you remember that time we went out with the Ainsleys to that Italian restaurant? You pronounce the name of the wine wrong and the waiter, with his stiff upper lip and slicked hair, gave you a really dirty look. Christine laughed so hard at that, I remember. Ah, that was a lovely night though. I can't remember the name of the place. I don't know, they all have names like Luigi's or fucking Mario's or something. Whatever, that's not important. But the atmosphere there was so gorgeous. Beautiful mood lighting, the whole room encased in a warm orange glow. I remember you said your back hurt, so we left without having dessert. You tipped the waiter more than 20%. I thought you'd gone crazy. You seemed happy that night. We all did. But then in the car as we were leaving, you were strangely quiet as if something were eating away at you. But did we drive a long way home or something? Because thinking about it, I don't remember the journey home that well, but I can't have had that much to, to drink. In fact, maybe I don't remember that night as well as I thought I did. It's nothing. I go away. It will go away on its own. There's a magnet sitting in a desk drawer. Yeah. Take this. A horsehole magnet sits in a drawer. You reach it in and take it. Magnet. 
Maybe we can use this here. Consider drawing in a hole, but no, today that's too deep, that's too deep. Maybe we can use this. No. To your disappointment, nothing happens. Okay. Let's see, we can break this open, I guess. You slide the metal bar into the hole and the lid, angle it correctly, then push down with all your might. After a few seconds, the lid of the box flies off. In the box you find a card on which someone has crawled a question mark. You pick it up to read the other side, but to your confusion, you find that it's blank. Then you hear a noise, that of the television screen behind you flickering into life. You impressed me, you always did. And I always did tease you with answers too. Sorry about the card, I couldn't resist. Say... Ah, actually, it doesn't matter. It just we even struggle to work out what's real. Oh god, that makes me sound crazy, doesn't it? I don't mean like that. I mean, when you're thinking back, piecing together memories, sometimes... I'm not sure. Is that a thing that happened to me, or did I dream it? Or worse still, did I just make it up in a fit of directionless imagination? I don't know, I sometimes feel like I'm living in a wireframe of my own world. A place where the lines glow beautiful colors, but nothing means a goddamn thing. And I want you there with me. Uh, there's something beautiful about it, about being lost among the lines, trying to make sense of it all, joining the dots, following the, the maps. You didn't follow a map that night, did you? We were driving somewhere, home, I think. Did we get lost? It's, it's really hazy, somehow. Oh, listen to me. Harping on about something nonsensical while you're stuck in this place, trying desperately to claw your way out. Don't worry, sweetheart. You will follow the lines as they wind around the map and find your way home soon. No other markings are on the card. It appears to be a red herring. In the box there's a coin. It's not like other coins you've seen. It's larger, shinier and most curiously blank. There's no point in taking that. You pick up the large, shiny and blank coin. Yeah, let's see. We can use this. No, 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 maybe... Ah, there's nothing in there. The coin. You slide the coin into the slot and wait. Suddenly you hear a sound and from the white slot below emerges, bizarrely, a ball of string. Then quietly before you can take it, another sound, that of the screen behind you, powering up. The last time I saw you, when was it? How many years ago now? Three, four, Christ, maybe even longer. Do you remember my body? Do you remember what it looked like? Tasted like? Smelled like? You haven't changed a bit, beautiful. Do you think I've changed? Oh, I asked too many questions. Hi, do you know what I was thinking about the other day? That morning in the field? You know when we've been camping with a few of your friends and stayed up all night and we snuck away about 6 a.m. It was such a gorgeous morning, the ear already warm, so we stripped down to our underwear. Was that the first time you saw me like that? It must have been. I should remember. I remember the touch of your skin, your hands sliding softly over, over my body. And afterwards, as we watched the sunrise, the breeze blowing gently against our sweat, I felt like I was in the film, Titanic. 
I was Rose, arms outstretched. You were my Jack, holding on. I'm shivering just thinking about it. Wouldn't it be beautiful to relive that moment just one more time? Is that how you remember it? Is that how you remember me? And does the ball of string? Okay. We pick up the ball of string, it's covered in dust. Ah, maybe we can combine this with a magnet. You tie the string sturdily around the magnet. Okay. So now we can use that on that hole on the ground. Carefully you lower the magnet into the hole. You feel something stick and excited reel the string back in to find a rusty iron key attached to the magnet. Okay. An iron key. Carefully you slide the key into the lock and with breath held turn, the lock clicks and the door swings open. You open the door and suddenly everything is dark. As dark as it was when you first found yourself in this room. Then, once again, a flickering sound. The masked lady is silent, but you swear you can see her smirk. The lights flicker on, or rather the room itself. Blue and white lines form the wireframe of the walls. Then the masked lady speaks again. And so here we are, wherever this is. Do you like it? I made it for you especially. So... You really are so beautiful, just like I used to be. There's one more surprise, just one more, then I'll let you go, I promise. She stares at you from behind the white of the mask. You try talking or reasoning with her, but to her horror, you discover that no words come out. Yeah. There's a wireframe box in the middle of the wireframe room. Look around, every piece of the room's architecture is formed of a glowing blue and white wireframe. You look behind you, to the room you just escaped, but it's gone. With trepidation you reach into the wireframe box. Your hand hits something cold, metallic. It takes a second to dawn on you that you're grasping a gun. I've kept that for you, you know. It's been hidden away here far as long as I can remember. As long as I can remember fully, anyhow. It's loaded, by the way. God, you know I've wanted to use it. I've wanted to scrape back this fucking mass and blow away everything that's behind it, everything that's left. And I've wanted to point it at you, too. Point it right against your fucking head and scream at you to look at me. To look at me in the eye, to beg me to not to do it. I can see it now, me shaking, you sobbing, pleading. It's, it isn't worth it anymore, it isn't worth it for either of us. Ultimately, we both want to escape, to escape these fucking rooms we found ourselves trapped in. What did you want to be when you grew up? Did you ever have that taken away from you? Did you? We were driving along and no, fuck it, I can't remember. I can't even recall those last beautiful moments when I was beautiful. I just remember hospitals, beds, drugs, pins and plastic. Do you know what it's like to lose everything that you were? I never leave my room now, I don't have that luxury. But you know how to leave yours, you're holding the answer right in your hands. Does it feel good? The cold of the metal? The power? I love you, I love you so fucking much. Finish it and remember, remember me, 
not me mask it's a gun and it appears to be loaded your finger twitching you aim the gun into nothingness and pull the trigger but nothing happens it locks it won't let you fire around into the air no reason 